Well, it's just a little update. Um, yeah, there's no comments on my videos, unfortunately. I don't know how to switch them on, but I just thought I'd let you know well, what's happening here in the centre of Kiev. Here we are on the Maidan, the very, very centre of Kiev. I'm on a crappy phone, so the image is probably not too good, but um, yeah. So far, so far, I mean, everything's pretty peaceful in the centre. People are walking around. There's a lot of press, of course. But um, people going about their day, just going for a stroll down the Krishatik, like they do on a normal day. Um, but yeah, apparently, in the north of the city, in a place called Obolom, there are Russian tanks have been spotted and there's fighting. I've not seen it. I'm not in Obolom. I'm in the very centre. Um, I've not heard anything. But hey, who knows? Occasionally, you kind of hear like a plane go over to, over the top, but it's cloudy, so I don't see them. But um, apart from that, it's a, um, yeah, I don't know. It's just an incredibly, well, it's a sad day, really. I've been on this place, this point, this, the Maidan, literally, fuck, 500 times in my life, and always with good memories, always had good times here. Um, I stayed in that hotel up there. It's called the Hotel Ukraina. I stayed in that hotel in 1993, like on my very first trip to um, Ukraine. And so it's really sad that, um, well, 30, 30 years later, that Ukraine, um, yeah, is going through this situation. So, yeah, just really sad that Europe is fighting once again. That Europe is fighting once again and that Slav is fucking fighting against Slav when really, you know, Slavic nations and Europe in whole should be united. So, um, I don't know. I've got nothing else to say. I've got no, I, I've got no opinions on this. I'm not a geopolitical expert. Everything I've predicted so far has been wrong. I never thought there'd be an invasion. I was like, nah, Putin's not that insane. That's not going to happen. But yeah, I know nothing. So I'm not going to say what I think is going to happen or anything like that because I've got no idea. Like, um, it seems all rationality in this situation has gone out the window and so yeah all I can do is show you what the situation is and um, you can make your own mind up but at the moment at least at the moment at least here in the center of Kiev on the Maidan everything is um, quiet and peaceful if something happens later and I hear it or I see it, of course, I'll um, do an update and I'll show you guys. Um, if the tanks come rolling in, I'll be the first one there to try and show you as long as it's safe and as long as I'm not getting in the way of people who are actually fighting for their country or their city. Um, but, yeah, that's it. I've got nothing else to say, really. Just, again, once again, a terribly sad day, you know, for Ukraine and for Europe as a whole. And, um, yeah, what a nightmare, eh? What a bloody nightmare. But let's see what happens. Hopefully, some resolution comes of it and then there's not there's not too much bloodshed i mean god knows how much there's already been i don't know but anyway yeah goodbye from um ukraine and see you guys maybe later on today or um yeah somewhere down the road see you later